Your goal today is going to be to look at superficial structures and then skin the dog on the left side. So to begin with, you're going to look at the mammae. So here you have five pairs of mammae. You have a cranial and caudal thoracic set here, cranial and caudal uh, abdominal mammae, and then right here you're going to have the inguinal pair. So you want to look at those. You also want to try and find the umbilicus, which on my dog is nice and clear right here. So you want to look for that, and from there you're going to make your skin incisions. So you're going to make an incision on the left side, going from the umbilicus up to the dorsal midline of the back, like that. You're also going to go from umbilicus up the midline, ventrally, of the belly. And then you're going to encircle the forelimb. So you're going to make a cut down, go around the elbow area, and then you're going to continue that midline incision up the neck and then up behind the ear. So you're going to make those incisions and then peel back your skin. So when you reflect that, you want to try and leave on the cutaneous muscles if possible. If not, that's okay. You'll see it on your skin when you pull it off, so it'll be stuck on here. This is cutaneous trunchi. So this is going to cover most of the thorax and abdomen here. So you're going to reflect that also. So you're going to cut on the midline and then reflect that up as a sheet of muscle. So very thin, like a sheet of paper, and flip that up. You're also going to have this cutaneous muscle, which is the platysma in the neck. We won't actually cover that until later in the dissection labs, but you want to just flip that forward off of the muscles that you're going to look at today. Okay. You also want to check out the costal arch, which is more by feel than by sight. So you want to kind of palpate where those ribs end and the cartilages come together and make that costal arch. So it's actually on both sides. This is just the left side, but costal arch is going to be here and then also going around the other side where that rib cage stops. All right, and then we want to look at our superficial and deep pectorals. So on this dog, we've already made the cuts for the lab, but we'll point out superficial pectorals are here. So the probe is elevating both pieces of that. You have a descending portion, which is the strap here, and then you also have a transverse portion, which is here. So descending is the strap going over the top, transverse, and those make up the superficial pectorals. So you're going to make a cut right next to the sternum here, just like this, about a centimeter away or so, and make a cut through both of those sections of superficial pectorals and reflect that up. Then you're going to look at the deep pectorals. So I'll reflect the superficial pectorals, maybe. And you can see the deep pectorals underneath. And those have also been cut for today's lab. But this is deep pectoral here, running down to the belly. So you're also going to make a cut after you isolate those. Make a cut similar to superficial and reflect the deep pectorals as well. So superficial here deep pectorals here. Also in today's lab, we're going to identify the brachiocephalicus muscle, which has several parts. So here is brachiocephalicus muscle, and right where my hand is elevating, this little white line is the clavicular intersection, so the remnant of a clavicle in the dog, but it's just a little intersection, a little white tissue line. But from that point down to the forelimb, you have clidobrachialis, so clido meaning clavicle, brachialis meaning arm, so clidobrachialis. And then the part going from the clavicle to the head is clidocephalicus. And then clidocephalicus actually has two separate parts. You have pars cervicalis, cervical meaning neck, so pars cervicalis going up, kind of makes a broad sheet up towards the midline of the neck here. And then you also have pars mastoidea, which is underneath, so you kind of want to lift up that pars cervicalis. Look underneath and you'll see this pars mastoidea right here. Then you want to actually cut both of those, so you're going to cut pars mastoidea, leave a little stump so you can identify it later, and then you're going to cut pars cervicalis up towards the neck, and then you're going to reflect those pieces down. And that's it for lab one.